one of these before? A correction pen. You can buy them from newsagents or stationery shops, and they're used for correcting typing mistakes. But as I don't type, I've been fiddling around with one of them, and I've discovered that they're really good for drawing with on dark paper. And it's just a case of drawing normally, but pressing with your thumb, and out comes all this white correction fluid, and it leaves a real clear white line that's much stronger than a pencil crayon and easier to control than white paint. And there's lots of different effects that you can get. Watch this. You can get ordinary, just thin lines by pressing normally, and you can get thicker lines, look at that, right through there, by pressing harder with your thumb. And if you press really hard, you get sort of splodges like that. In fact, if you don't press at all, you get these thin, sort of wispy lines that are also a very good effect. And you get lots of correction fluid in one pen, so you can colour things in, like that. And it just feels like drawing with a white felt-tip pen, really. Look at that. And I've also discovered that you can draw on almost anything with them, which makes them great for labelling things with your name. And again, you just write normally, pressing with your thumb, and they're good for decorating things. So watch this. A line, a few little wisps in the corner, and a line. I'll do that again. A line, wisps in the corner, and a line. In fact, you can even draw on glass with them. I'm just going to hold this bottle close like that, and watch this. You just draw on the bottle normally, press with your thumb, and the fluid goes onto the glass, a bit like enamel paint on those old decorated glass bottles. Look at that, those little gaps there make it look like an authentic old glass bottle. Brilliant effect, that. A couple of stalks down there, a few little petals, and there it is. Try it yourself. Experiment. Decorate a few things. Go crazy. Versatile things, you know, correction pens.